Guys, I'm dropping off the G35 today because apparently this will take uh, RC will, will take him five hours to finish the callovers. Uh, he's gonna be taking a video for me because I won't be able to stay for a long time. I usually stay obviously and help out, but then today I'm he I'm just gonna drop off the car and he's moving his car at the moment, and he'll be moving my car as well. So yeah, gonna be lowered because if you guys don't know the. Uh, the suspension, the stock suspension is very bouncy already and um, you know I've been rubbing for stock I have stock height and it's rubbing when it comes to like bumps I have a wheel spacer on the front uh, nothing at the back so I'm gonna get this hub centric measured as well so I could buy a hub centric wheel spacer so I would be able to you know match up with the front one make it flushy as like the front one as you can see right there is very flushy this one is like way more inside but anyways guys, my name is Gina Diaz by the way and welcome to my channel. So today it's very sunny, good thing because uh, uh, since Friday actually, yes, yesterday it was sunny as well, really nice. But then Wednesday, Thursday was raining. So today I'm leaving the G35 for the first time and once again I usually stay. So um, it's gonna take him like 5 hours so officially I'm pretty much done with the build. Like, cosmetic wise maybe taillights in the future but then right now just coilovers because uh, I if you could, if you haven't watched the front uh, the first video hello all right guys so this is it um ours is gonna be moving the car all the way there and uh, I'm waiting for MJ to come to pick me up because we're kind of doing a, a hang out before the uh, wedding so you know basically a bachelor's party just with the groomsmen and like close friends probably like four to five of us will be there uh, just waiting for Renzo he'll be pick uh, MG will be picking me up look how clean that is though this is like the last video you'll see rolling on a stock height and it's gonna be way lower next um, if you guys don't know, I have I ordered the um, the Rev9 Hyper Street, uh, Rev9 Hyper Street two callovers from Redline 260. So shout out to them. Uh, well, I actually did it for me because they don't ship it to Canada. I had to pay shipping fees, like extremely high shipping fees, as well as as well as uh, custom fees, which cost me over 1600 when I'm supposed to be just paying 1500 or no, sorry, 1200 Hey guys, I'm just waiting for MJ right now to come and pick me up. Uh, Duke is with him as well, so officially leaving the G35 with RC. And um, so yeah, uh, that will be it. Uh, for the first time, I won't be here to be, you know, able to see it. So yeah, they're here actually. Look at this, motherfuckers are here. Alright. It's done guys. More fuckers are there coming to pick me up. Gonna having gonna be having a bachelor's party. So by the time we finish uh the G35 we should be good. Fucking MJ. More fuckers are here. Just waiting for RC at the moment, and then we'll we'll dip. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Grab it. Fuck. RC. Guys, fucking so expensive. Um, the, the shipping, bro, like almost 400. This is the shipping, man. The shipping, bigate. So heavy, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. This is Pampa. Oh, it's the Pampa Lover. And then, because I, did, I need a new, new suspension for mine because yeah. it's bouncy. Remember when you test drove yeah. it? Fuck. My only. Holy shit. Jenny. Fucking. <laughs> Nice bro. Hindi ka magra-rub kasi ito once na lowered mo. Ano na yan yung yung bumper nito kasi masyado mo pa pa-tanaw. Papagenta mo to kan. Ah, papagenta mo. First 
descargó así. La copa de clan en two years. Sheesh. ¿Cómo va a andar el payaso? Vamos a echar. This one. Chata de mantequilla. Mira, me la The guys said, look, it's very low now as you can see, way lower than the stock, and look at that, look at this boy, oh my god, I think it's rubbing, I think it is, fuck, look at this, it's like way too tuck right now, and then apparently it's not all the way in yet, so RC did this before, you know, he finished both sides, front, the front ones, he finished it, so look at that, very nice, very nice guys, the fitment is amazing on the front right now, it's way too tucked in, actually, I feel like it's gonna be rubbing, I'm gonna get it, definitely gonna get it, fender rolled I guess, once I get the time, look at this, and then, we just finished doing it the back. Look at this. It's stuck. And it's actually it actually has some camber at the rear right now. Look at this. It's crazy boys. And then earlier it was like stock is like this much from the fender. Now it's like tucked. It's not all the way in. There's still five inches left, but then I'm pretty sure if we get, we go a little bit further, it's gonna be rubbing for sure. All right, guys, we're doing the last one here. And once again, if you haven't seen it yet, this is how it looks like. This is the Rev9 Hyper Street 2 Callovers. It's not just a hyper it has, it has, it's the second version or version 2 right here. Hyper Street Rev 9 Hyper Street 2 performance suspension, really good quality. And they also have this adjusters. Usually, the other, other cars doesn't have this actually, they don't, they don't provide this, so it's nice they, that they have that. So, to make it easier to adjust and everything, so. Once again, shout out. Very expensive. A lot of shipping fees to pay and other import fees. Well, I think the other other fees, right? So, yeah. And then this is the adjuster right here. You could, uh, I could adjust it to a different feel of the coils. So from soft, middle, or hard. That's a nice feature. So. Damn, look at that. I wonder how this one feels later. My only concern is the rubbing issue. But then other than that, I'm really hoping the driving feel will be nice. Like once again, if you're if you're gonna be lowering your car, it's not just for looks. It's also for performance. Like less body roll. It's crazy. And it's gonna be nice. Hopefully I won't be scraping that much, but obviously, it's like way too low. I'm definitely gonna be scraping though. So I'm gonna be having to be careful driving this thing. Alright guys, just taking out the struts. We just took out the uh, springs here. Apparently the springs is, are not the issue, it's actually the strut itself. The, it's not pumping anymore properly and I guess it's run out of gas inside. That's why it's very bouncy and you know, not doesn't absorb uh, power that much. It's like bumpy, and you know it doesn't feel good when you're driving. Like you feel everything mostly. So when I was driving with socks with this one specifically, if I feel like I'm driving with like a lower suspension for some reason, even though it's a stock. So I don't mind be drive be lowered and you know feel every bump, but at least like it has a purpose. Instead of like you know driving with stock, but then it's very bouncy. Anyways, this is the left rear springs right here. It's currently taking off the left strut rear part here. Oh shit! 
There you go, it's out. Yeah. It's not good. Damn, bro, that was wearing out. I think still okay or? I think they leak. Oh. Shit. It's leaking already. But then it's a 16 year old car. Def oh shit, look at this. I'm sorry. Can't see that. Damn, bro. Alright, guys, this is how it looks like. It's not officially on yet, but that's the idea. Turn on, sorry. Connect it with the thing here for adjusters, just like this. Make it easier. You know. So if it's too hard or too stiff, you can just, you know, run it back and everything. Same thing in the front. The front has has it as well. I think, I'm not sure if only Rev, Rev9 has this, but this is a really good feature. Makes it easier for you to adjust your uh, comfortability in driving the car. Alright, just locking up with the, um, that's a control arm, right? It's up there now too. Oh, actually, no, it's not in yet, right? Not yet. There you go. Man, talo. Pasok agad. Pasok agad na butin lang to pasok agad. Five minutes versus <laughs> one and a half hour. Here we go. Put it along. It's in, guys. Just that one now. Alright, guys. The last one. Oh, this shit. Oh, this shit, guys. I can already tell I'm gonna be robbing on this bitch. Oh, fuck, definitely. Guys, look at this shit. I feel this. Oh, definitely. Fuck. But look at that beauty. Looks fucking beautiful. Damn, boys. Hey guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah, um, my body's almost done as well, so I'm probably just gonna end the video here just in case. But. If there's still more videos, I'm going to include it on the vlog. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm really hoping that VQ community will start, you know, will start building up again. Because, you know, Honda community is actually really good and Subaru. So, maybe VQ community or VQ people will start, you know, supporting each other again. Because, I know, I'm a new VQ owner and, you know, the, the, the experience that I had with Honda and Subaru is just immaculate but then VQ community the cars are really nice and everything but the people usually are like they're like hating to each other so or hating with each other so I'm really hoping we could improve this community up from just you know uh, being nice to each other you know uh, support each other and everything so once again thank you so much for watching uh, I'm gonna be filming more with the G35 because this is the new build pretty much done with it because um, Performance wise, I just have intake and, and it's already fast enough unless you won't really get a lot of power from it unless you uh, Put a big turbo on this one, but you know, it's already fast enough and it looks good I think I finished the build guys. I think it's just the taters that is missing headlights front lip uh, Coilovers, that's like the main parts that I want to do on the GT5 which is 
pretty much done just today and to this day till to this day it's officially done i think it'll be just the taillights in the future but then right now it's done guys so thank you so much for watching i know since my friends watch this or i'm just doing this for mostly memories now because you know when you, your youtube is dead so thank you so much for watching once again my name is genius signing out peace